Hey guys, what's up? It's Erica. Merry Christmas or happy holidays if you don't celebrate. Today I am filming a what I got for Christmas 2021 video. I think I have filmed what I got for Christmas videos for the past three years. If you guys like watching these videos, stick around. You guys can see what I got this year for Christmas. I don't really have anything in order, so we're just gonna jump right into this video okay actually number one i'm wearing it um my sister got this custom sweatshirt off of etsy that has um both of our dogs on it a really sweet sentimental gift so i love this um and i'll keep it forever i began 2021 and i said i want to read this year and i actually got really into reading and i got so many books for christmas this many for someone who literally hadn't read a book in years, I really turned a new page, no pun intended, in my life. Um, and now I love to read, so I have a lot to get through this year. The first book is The Last House Guest. I'm pretty sure this is more like a, pretty sure this is kind of like a scary book, like true crime-y type of stuff, which is like my favorite type of show and stuff to watch. But reading for the most part, I mostly read like more like romance novels. This is a book that my cousin actually got me. It's called The Path Made Clear. Um, it's by Oprah and it's just like kind of helping you find your path in life. Um, so as a 24 year old, this is helpful. Then I got Mrs. Lincoln's Dressmaker. This is written by a woman who wrote another historical fiction novel, but I'm excited to read this book. I've had this book on my Goodreads want to read for a long time. The Unhoneymooners, I feel like everyone read this book last year, but I'm just getting to it. This is another one that is kind of like historical. It's called Number of the Stars. It's a really short book. This is about a girl in Copenhagen during the Holocaust and World War II and all of that. So this will definitely be a sad book. This is another one I've wanted to read for a while. It's called The Vanishing Half. This book I sent to my mom and my sister that I wanted to read it and actually my sister already had the book so she just packaged up her book that she already had so that's perfect. And then this is very different than most of the other books that I have. It's called Food Fix. Um, this is just about it says how to save our health, our economy, our communities, and our planet one bite at a time. I actually want to do a what I read in 2021 um, video before the year ends. So let me know if you guys actually want to see that and I will try to film that in the next five, six days before 2022 begins. It sounds so weird to say 2022. My mom got me these aloe leggings. This is, I think, the only thing that I want to return because um, I don't like that it's just like this band at the top. I like them more when they're like a thicker band. I mean, I picked these out, I thought they were super cute and then I tried them on and I was like, eh. Then my aunt got me this Skims loungewear top, which I tried it on already. It's super comfy and cozy. And I've heard, I've heard like such good things about Skims and people seem to love wearing her line. Then I got these Zara black jeans. I do not have a pair of just regular black jeans, um, so I am really happy to finally have these. Um, the style is mini flare, high rise, flare leg, ankle stretch. I tried on the ones that I think have gone viral on like TikTok that everyone loves. I forget what they're called, but I am on the shorter side. I'm like 5'2", five, 5'3". Five, so if you are my height and you are looking for like pants that actually are not a foot too long for you, um, these are a good style because the other ones were literally like they weren't good. Then my mom got me a pair of these Abercrombie jeans. Um, these are the 70s vintage flare ultra high rise. These are super comfy. Abercrombie always has made amazing jeans um, and they don't put like their little symbol on the pocket anymore. And then I just have a thing for patterned pants. These are Urban Outfitters pants and they have like tennis rackets on them. I think they're super cute. I think it'd be really cute with like a sweater vest. I feel very Hamptons-esque with these. Then something else that my sister got me is this Hour Place pan. Um, I'm really excited to try this out. It's a really pretty color. She said this was the only color left, but I was like, this is like one of my favorite colors. So I'm super happy with it. If you don't know, like the Our Place pan has gone viral just because it's like a pan that does everything. The Always pan is designed to help you do more with less. So get ready to steam, saute, braise, fry, stew, broil, sear, serve, store, and more. It also comes with like this steamer basket and there's also like a wooden spatula that comes with it. 
and something to clean it with. I'm excited. Also, I think a selling point of this pan is that it doesn't have a lot of the like plastic chemicals um, or just chemicals in general that a lot of pans do have and that get into your food. I'm not super educated in all this. This is just what I learned from TikTok. So take it all with a grain of salt. Then my mom got me some pepper spray. Um, I normally have pepper spray on my keys and then I went to a basketball game and they threw it out. Um, I don't know why events like throw things out when I'm like, I'm not gonna hurt anybody. I'm just need this for my walk in the dark back to my car, but okay. Then my mom also got me this thing. If you are a reseller or if you like to thrift clothes, this is very helpful. Um, this is like to depill your clothes. I normally just get like a razor and like shave the pillings off my clothes, but this is actually meant to do that. Then my sister also got me the Glossier perfume. I think this smells really good. I have not gotten new perfume in so long. I really like it. So I'm excited to wear this. Then from my other aunt last night, I got some boy brow and some brow flick from Glossier, as well as one of my favorite influencers has like a skin line. Um, it's called Skin by Ella. Ella Rose is her Instagram name. This is her blush, um, so she got me her blush so i'm really excited to try this out i was pretty influenced by a lot of influencers this year so i guess they're all doing their job another thing from an influencer was this bbx times ellie this is ellie thuman's like collaboration with i don't know what the company is called but it's like a lip plumping lip gloss i put some on during christmas and my lips started to hurt but like in a good way I just need to put a little less on next time. Another influencer who got me to buy their stuff. Then another present that has to do with our dogs. Um, these are like custom, I think, Etsy socks that my mom got, but each sock has one of our dogs on them. I'm gonna keep these forever. My sister kind of went crazy with the Christmas gift. She got me a lot. It was very generous of her. She got me Bite um, foundation and um, pressed powder. This is like her favorite makeup from Sephora. I borrowed some of hers and it works really well. She also got me this Marvis toothpaste. I know Marvis toothpaste is something, there's like something special about it. I can't tell you what it is. I think it's like better for you. I don't know. Then I got the Ordinary Squalane Cleanser. Whenever I wear makeup, I always shower after I wear makeup because I just don't like washing my face. Like in the sink, I just get water everywhere. But this I saw, I think I looked it up or something and they said this was like really good for taking makeup off. Oh, and then I also got this Grande Lash Serum, the um, enhancing lash serum. So hopefully it works. I guess I can report back in six weeks if I have longer lashes or not. And then my dad got me these Brooks running shoes. I don't know if this store is like national if it's just local but we got them from a store called roadrunner like put you on a treadmill and watch how you run and everything and they recommend what types of shoes and all that they recommended us wearing like shoes a whole size bigger than what we normally buy you do have like 90 days to try them out and exchange so i might exchange them for a smaller size i'm a little worried because i'm supposed to run a 10k in like two weeks so i want to like get comfortable in the new shoes before running six miles in them and then I also got Vejas which I'm really excited about these are my first pair they are the v12 I think the v10 and the v12 are what people have said are the most comfortable ones and I really like the like camel color accent we did a little white elephant exchange with my mom's family and I was the lucky person who got two gifts one of them is the wonder album from Shawn Mendes in vinyl I don't have a record player, but this white elephant gift might have to turn into a very expensive purchase. And then I also got one of these neck pillows, which is gonna be super, super helpful. I've always wanted one, but like when you're in the airport, I feel like they're so expensive, so I never buy one. I'm definitely gonna wear this a lot. That was everything that I got for Christmas. My mom outdoes herself every single year. And ultimately, like the best part of Christmas is just being able to spend it with our family, especially since last year with COVID. Uh, we weren't able to see any of our extended family, but this year we were able to see some of them, which has been amazing. I hope you guys are all having a safe and happy holiday season. I know so many people have come down with Omicron and are struggling like with COVID stuff right now. And I just hope that you guys are all staying safe. Hopefully that you're all able to be with loved ones soon. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.